So at this juncture, we're going to be looking at a few examples. The first one is simplify A bar plus AB plus BC and plus AC, okay? Now to do this, let's uh, can factorize. That's the good thing about Boolean. It allows us, you can also manipulate it as if you are manipulating your, your usual mathematical expression. Then plus BC plus AC, okay? Now, this will go off, okay? We apply a, so we now have a BC plus AC. We can also rewrite this so that we don't have A plus AC plus BC. So I just move this one this way. So here we have our A into one plus C plus BC, okay? So this is A plus BC, okay? Now, problem two. Here we have A bar B plus A B plus A bar B. So to do this now, we can uh, yeah, that's the bar here. Okay. A bar B bar plus B into A plus A bar, okay? A, B, bar, A, plus A, A, B, plus this one not so, so we have a B into one, okay? which is now equal to A, B bar, at the bar here, plus, uh, plus B, okay? So these are, these are solutions. So quickly, I want us to go into uh, the use of kind of map to simplify a Boolean expression. So we're going to start with a very simple uh, uh, two variable example. Okay. Okay. Now you have your f of a b from the mean time. Zero and three. Now to do this, you need to draw your key map. Okay. So there is a B component and there's A. These are the combination possible O1. We also have our O1 here as the combination possible. Now let's uh, rewrite our binary time. So this is AB, this binary time. Uh, so these are the combination like we have in that box. O1 can also be one zero, it can also be one one. Okay. So this is zero, one, two, three. So these are decimal representation. Decimal representation, okay. So here we will have there, there is one, one here, we have three here, and we have two as part of our decimal notation. Now, this is the expression that we're trying to simplify. Okay, since zero appears here, it appears, of course. Yeah, we have a loop here. Then uh, I think we also have uh, three here. Okay. So, of course, we can't group this. That is not allowed. Diagonal. So we have this as group one. We have here as group two. So we need to add group two. Now, let's compute what we have in group one here. So this will be 
A bar bar. So this is A0, B0, okay? Now, for group two, this is group one. Now, for group two now, it will be A, B. Because it's one, one. This is for group two. Now, we need to now add them. We need to add them. So, we'll have a... A bar, B e bar, plus A, B. So, this is a short. That's it. That is triple. Now, let's do another example. Let's assume we have a, we have a F into A, B, which is equal to summation of all the mean term zero, one, three. Okay. Now let's look at all the combination possible that we did for the other one. This is a zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Okay. Zero, one, two, three. Is that okay? Now let's go to our table here. That is a good thing about uh, Canon Map. It makes everything very easy. So we have our B, A. These are the combination possible. Zero, one. Okay. Now let's look at that. Our zero, zero here will give us zero. So one, one, zero, one will give us one. So will give us three, so will give us two. Now let, let's look at our expression. Zero here, yeah. Uh, one appears. One here we have, because we have one in the expression here. Then three here. We also have this. Is that okay? Because that is also in the expression, okay? So, now, let's uh, group them. If you look at this here, this is our group one. Huh? Uh, this item here is uh, two. So let's add one or two together. So in group one now, this is the first time here we have A bar, A bar, plus A bar, B. Then second one we'll have a uh, A bar B plus A A B. Okay. Now what we now need to do now is that we need to cancel terms that keep changing with sign. If you look at this now, what are the terms that keep changing with sign? Here, B here, keep changing like a camera. So we're going to cancel that. Then uh, uh, if you look at here too. A also keep uh, changing with sign, okay? So our final solution now will be A bar plus A bar is A bar, then plus uh, B plus B is B. So this uh, final expression, okay? Now let's see if we can take one more example, or this time, uh, let's go a little step further. Let's look at the uh, three by three example. F into A, B, C. Sum of all the mini terms. Zero, one, two, three. So this could be a bit tricky, okay? Now we need to draw our. This because it's a three by three problem, okay? So we have a A here, we have a B, C, okay? Zero, one, zero, 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 one, 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 zero. 
Okay, now let's get our expression for PC in terms of decimal and all that, the way we, we did others. So here we have our, this one will be zero, zero. The decimal to give us this. Zero, one. One, one. One, zero. So we have your one, two, three. But we need to do the one for A, B, C. Is that okay? For ABC, what are the combination? What zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one, one, one. Okay. So this will be. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the respective decimal representation. So what we have here is the binary uh, representation. Okay. Now let's go to our K map here. So here we have our zero, one. Three, two, six, seven, five, four. Just follow the same pattern like we did for our two case. This is six. Okay? So once you have done that now, now let's go to our expression. Uh, okay. Um, is that zero there? Okay, because there's zero here, we're going to put one. Okay, the big one. There's one here, we'll put one here too. Three, we have three too, we put one. Do we have two? Yes, we'll put one here. Do we have seven? Yes. That's just it. So we're not going to now uh, group our, this will be one group. This is group one, okay? Then there's an overlapping here. Is that okay? Now, let's, let's look at our group one. Let's look at all the expressions in group one. Okay? Let's look at all the expressions in group one. So here we have our A, B, C. Let me write out the possibilities. A, B, C. I will write that in four places. A, B, C. Plus A, B, C. Okay? So once you do that, don't forget that this comes with the bar. Bar, bar. This must have a bar. Okay? Now, if you look at this now, This will give us A. Why? Because we have some, if you look at this term now, it keeps appearing and disappearing. Look at this. We're gonna know we're gonna know this because it keeps changing with the sign. So that's why we're left with A bar, because A bar, A, A bar plus A bar plus A bar plus A bar is A bar. Now let's look at the second expression now. This uh, for group two now. This one will be A, B, C plus A, B, C here. So here we have it as a, yes, A bar because others are zero. Others are one, one. This A, B, C remains. Is that okay? So one will not add the two. Add the group now. Group one plus group two. We will now have our A bar. Plus B, C. So you can see how, so it's very easy to use your K-map, you know, to simplify your, your algebra, your Boolean algebra. So you can do this even for five by five variable 
and all that. So it, 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 it's uh, a very interesting concept. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to leave you here. So thank you so much for watching on the, expect more videos. So uh, expect more to come. Huh?